I, I attribute a lot to our energy level. I don't want to ever take anything from New Mexico. I thought they played really, really hard and physical and, and very aggressive and very much like they wanted to win. And, and that's, you know, and I, I felt like we were the opposite of that to start the game, just, you know, out of sync, lethargic, not, not really, you know, playing as hard as we needed to. I mean, so many loose balls that should have been ours, but we're going after it with one hand, kind of lackadaisical instead of really understanding that someone else is coming after the ball too, you know. And it was just all those little hustle plays that I think add up that just shift the momentum. And, um, you know, New Mexico, no question, had it um, in the first half. Did you say anything to uh, Rose when she was over 12 to kind of get her going? Um, I don't know when she was 0 for 12. We talked quite a bit at halftime. I, you know, um, I talked obviously to the group, but then pulled her aside before we started the second. And, you know, I, I think Rosé's performance speaks to how tough she is mentally. Um, that's that's not an easy place to be when, you know, you're getting to the rim. I thought she took good shots. You know, they're in and out, multiple um, layups just not going. And for her to stay the course and – um, step up in the fourth. I knew when the first one went, you know, we were going to have more to follow. And um, I just think it speaks to her mental toughness and her ability to make plays when her team needs her the most. How crucial was it to have a, a freshman, Arella, go 21-13 and 13 when you, the rest of the team is kind of slumping around her? I thought was she it? was the one in the first half that was trying to rally the troops with her communication, with her play. Um, Rella's a player. She loves this game. I can't imagine her ever showing up and not trying to play as hard as she can every single minute. And um, I thought she was the one that kind of kept us in it and, and kept us going in the first and then, you know, just made big plays in the second. And um, that's a big-time stat line for a freshman. Coach, kind of moving forward, how important is the attribute of resi resiliency when you're you're kind of down and you're not playing the best basketball, but you can still fight and win, especially moving forward? It's huge. You know how tough this league is, and um, just you know our t our schedule's tough. We we did that on purpose, um, you know, and and they're learning a lot about that. That's the only way to learn is be in those kind of situations and figure out how to come together and make the plays you need to do you need to make to to win games um and and this team has done that i thought at a and m they did that you know to come back and send it to overtime and 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 be gritty and be gutsy um basically me i just tried to slow us down and try to pace myself um my team has did a good job of giving me the ball because they realized um i was making shots and we did a good job feeding Jada because she was attacking. She was attacking offensive boards. So we just picked up the little things and tried to get our team back in it. Yeah, just to piggyback off of what Arella said, you know, we just kept our team, just kept being vocal with them, kept uplifting them. You know, there's going to be games where they're going to be doing the same with us when we're not having our best games. So we just kept trying to, you know, keep them intact, don't get their head down, you know. just. How about the team's mentality to – come back and win that game in the fourth quarter despite it kind of being as Whitaker coach Whitaker said a kind of a lethargic start I'm sorry what you say? uh what does it say about the team's mentality to come back and win that game in the fourth quarter despite that lethargic start um that we're just confident and um our teammates um I think that we just did a good job and we know we're gonna have to face adversity like this in the Big 12 and any team we have to um, come across in March or whatever, um, we just got to keep it, keep it up and keep our confidence, um, stay focused and be mentally tough. And that is it. Kind of going on top of that, you know, going into the fourth, what changed or what was said around the team to get you guys that momentum and really pick it up in the fourth <laughs> and come out with the win? Well, I'm, I have to say, Dio, she mm -hmm. came in and got a huge offensive board, which was the turning point in that game. And I guess that is what gave us all momentum to push forward through the rest of that uh, half and fourth quarter in particular. With 71 total rebounds, Arella and actually Jada too, what do you feel like was working so well for you guys? I know that that's been a target um, since, that you guys have been wanting to work on since your first exhibition scrimmage. Coach said we have to get defensive boards. <laughs> that was really it. She knows that they take a lot of shots and they take a lot of threes in particular. So they're going to be long rebounds. We have to box everybody out and attack those defensive and offensive boards. And Data did a good job of getting offensive boards. Dio did a good job of offensive boards. And 
Um, as a team, we just did. <laughs> <laughs> and as a team, we just had to lock in and get a lot of stops, and that was part of it.